Hey everybody, this is Ben Hansen from Game Informer, and I'm here again with... Jeff Cork. How's it going, buddy? Really good. What we're looking at today is uh, a big old fight against Bereth. Yes. The legendary beast of the Wildspire Waste. This is from our hands-on time with uh, Monster Hunter World. It's this big guy. He's, he's an old returning monster. He's from uh, the third entry, and he's kind of making his grand return here in Monster Hunter World. Mm -hmm. I went up against them by myself and yes. just was killed again and again and again. I think he probably marks the low point for me and my enthusiasm for Monster Hunter World because oh, really? I just realized like I I don't think I'm good at this game oh. and I think this monster is just rubbing it in my face as he's rolling in the mud and so then at that point roped everybody in and that's the footage we're looking at now so this okay. is actually Yuri from Capcom alongside you yeah. and myself all fighting it, it's interesting because like the first time I fought him I don't want to brag but please I, I killed it and Capcom offered me a job <laughs> so uh, I had to say no I have to Right, this cover story and everything, yeah, but yeah. you know, it was a nice thing to hear. I, I, I did, in all seriousness, kill it the first time though. I, I didn't run into a lot of trouble with them. There were some other like bosses and monsters that I did. This one, I just was able to keep a nice distance with them. Yeah, cause cause I, had, I was using the light bow gun. That's right, and that was, I think, a, a critical difference between our our encounters. So his big gimmick is that he's in the kind of the marshy areas of the uh, Wildspire Waste, and he will roll in mud, which will then harden and create like a protective layer on him. Yeah, in talking to the producer, uh, Riozo, he was saying that that is what they start out with. They start out thinking about the environment for these creatures mm -hmm. and for Barath in particular. It's like, okay, he's gonna live in this swampy area. He's gonna right. put himself in mud, then it's gonna harden, so he makes mm -hmm. armor for himself again and again. Yep. And he's gonna try and lure you to his environment Yep. because he understands it's easier to guard his territory in the murky mud. Yeah, because that also slows you down when you're kind of traversing through it and it doesn't seem to have his much of a slowing effect on him. Barath is one of like the first big fights you'll have in Wildspire Waste, unless yeah. you really go out of your way. Um, they try and steer you away from some other things, so uh, maybe you'll have an easier time with them. Uh, Yuri from Capcom here, who's playing, uh, he seems to be doing all right, but I'm sure the constant death from Hanson and Jeffy Poo as his teammates, it couldn't hurt. We were also, uh, I think at that point, our controllers had broken. Right, right. Uh, I, yeah. could, I asked the, <laughs> the, the uh, producer and the art director after the fight, because I was like, I kind of felt sorry for Bareth, because he's right. when he rolls in the mud, he kind of looks like a when I when I think of like a dog rolling, like if you take a dog on a walk and it finds something nasty, kind of rolls around in there and is just having a great time. Yeah, and I was like, ah, I feel bad for it. And then that's when they were like, okay, it's just doing it to armor itself up. You shouldn't feel bad. Like, okay, at that point, I just I stopped feeling bad. Yeah, your dog's not rolling in shit so that he can come back and then try and kill you and realize he has it. Get armored. I say it's a very astute observation. Yeah, I thanks. Think about it that way. Also, Bareth here has an interesting quirk where when he's charging up, it sounds like a steam whistle or like a yeah. tea kettle. Yeah, there's like a really subtle like tea, tea kettle sound. Yeah, which is kind of fun. And the sound designer said it was one of his favorite touches uh, in the new game. It also, I didn't ask. But I wanted to ask Majin Buu from Dragon Ball, which you know we all talk too much about. Has a very similar thing when he gets angry, and it's, yeah. I wonder. I bet that's kind of a classic cartoon thing, I guess, of just getting angry and then the With steam whistle tea kettle sound? whistle. Yeah. yeah, yeah, for sure. And nothing's angrier than a bear. And it doesn't happen in real life. Because yeah. Trust me, I've gotten angry, and I know that when you were getting beaten up and down the street by Barra, yeah. I didn't hear any tea kettle sounds coming. No, but it kind of looked like drips of tea coming from my eyeballs uh, okay. at times, so I think it kind of works. Short-circuiting your controller, which is why we kept fainting here sometimes. It's true. In addition to like charging you and hitting you with his tail, he'll also drop these... I don't remember how he does it. <laughs> He's somehow able to conjure these big gobs of mud mm -hmm. that he kind of protects himself with, like a little barrier around him. So you kind of have to carve your way through those. And he'll smack you with those gobs. Yeah. If you find yourself playing single player while you're connected online, and you're like, oh boy, I'm fighting this barrel through, as Hansen has demonstrated, it's absolutely impossible to take on single player. Correct. Uh, you can send out that flare, and then it'll basically open up that quest for multiplayer people to join you. So yeah. It's like, like kind of a funny, like a fun get out of jail free card in a way, as long as you're attracting someone who knows what they're doing. In theory, yeah. And the monsters do scale up with yes, multiplayer too. Yes, yes, yeah. But it does feel like an overall advantage. Maybe it's just when you have somebody like Yuri on your team to help you out and you've played this uh, game a time or two. Mm -hmm. And that's the fight against Bareth, a worthy opponent in the first several hours of Monster Hunter World. Probably go encounter him if you're playing average, you know, what, say like uh, four, five, six hours in there somewhere? Yeah, somewhere in that window. Yeah. So look forward to Mr. Bareth. Yeah. All right, thanks, everybody. Bye. Bye.